for Terereka, which is what is of interest to you, from February onwards, we were able to construct uh, uh, 30 more drying tables in total. We were also able to, to continue the renovation we were doing at the school eh? and also rehabilitate the coffee farm at the school. Eh? That was I didn't even know the school had a, had a coffee farm or uh, close by. Yes, there was a coffee farm inside the school and we've been able oh, to... How, yes. did, how does that work? What... Okay, usually is uh, the school farm is used as a learning tool for the students. Eh? And uh, coffee specifically because coffee is what is grown in the catchment. Eh? And then our hope is that they will be able to sell that coffee through the... the through the cooperative, eh? mm -hmm. and they are able to get an income. Eh? Uh, we were also able to construct uh, a playground eh? for small children at the school. Eh? Which but we are talking, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're talking about a, a school, as in a school where young children go to yes. learn you know, math, it's a, writing, and all of that. So it's not a school specifically for coffee farmers or future coffee farmers? No, it is a, a formal primary school. Eh? So even already in primary school, sort of children learn about coffee growing? Yes, because that's what is done at their homes. Eh? It's fascinating. I have no idea. Yes, and basically, you know, Children learn a lot by doing and by observing. Eh? So basically, the, the coffee farm serves that interest. Eh? Is there a specific class in which, let's say, an hour every week or an hour every day, where students learn from a teacher how coffee is grown and they have a very practical knowledge of growing their own coffee and learning that? Uh, not really, eh? It's only that uh, agriculture is taught as a subject in school eh? when they are doing science. Eh? So basically, directly, however, in schools, they also have what is called uh, clubs. Eh? Uh, and the clubs are of interest. You can either be a, a scout, for example. That's one of the clubs. You can either be in what they call 4K, which is an agricultural uh, club. Eh? And that is what really participates there. Eh? But uh, as it were, because of the lockdown, uh, most of those co-curriculum activities were put on the shelf because the education ministry needed to catch up and they made the school terms a little shorter. Eh? So they were able to cut uh, issues to do with sports, issues to do with extracurriculum, were put on hold as they caught up on the academics. Eh? So basically, it's a demonstration plot, not for formal training, eh? but uh, they are able to learn, eh? because as you know, uh, young people learn more by seeing and by doing than by being explained to. Oh, absolutely. And they now have the opportunity to physically, actively grow coffee in that small coffee farm in the school. Yes. And they can actually harvest it. Yes, they can harvest it. And uh, <laughs> just like the way they harvest coffee at their own homes, eh? helping their parents. Eh? You see, now when you go to high school, that's where now you can be able to take agriculture as an option. Eh? And uh, coffee is taught amongst other things. As you know, Kenya is a very rich agricultural country. Eh? Uh, coffee, tea, uh, a lot of horticulture, uh, flowers. So we've got a lot of agricultural activities. Eh? And so agriculture is really taught. It's only that uh, the young generation eh, uh, prefer courses that don't need them to use their hands. <laughs> That's it. I was going to ask about that. How popular is the coffee uh, coffee farming 
aspect of the agriculture course? Uh, not very popular. So do you expect to see a decrease in farmers who want to specialize in coffee growing? We've, we are already experiencing that because as you can note, our production eh, over the years have been going down eh, because eh, our production was mainly smallholder and big plantations. Eh? Most of the big plantations were near urban centers, and so most of it is being converted into real estate. Eh? And it's taking, and then with the introduction of horticulture, uh, basically most of where uh, horticulture production is done used to be coffee farms that were replaced with horticulture. Eh? So there is actually competition for the land resource uh, from other crops. And also most of the farmers are also aging and the youngsters are not interested in uh, agriculture per se. Eh? They want mm. to do IT and related skills. Eh? Yes. And Young now you farmers. just furnish them with laptops and a computer room in school. You can imagine. Yeah, and uh, mobile phones and tablets. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, because I imagine that if there are, because, you know, coffee farming is a very important part of the Kenyan um, economy, isn't it? Yeah. So you would expect to see a, a drop in the economy if there are fewer coffee farmers, isn't that right? Yes, but uh, it stopped being the most important. Eh? Long time ago, it was coffee, then tea, then tourism, you know. Eh? Nowadays, coffee is fourth, fifth in the pecking order. It's no longer mm. that lucrative. Eh? And partly is because, as you are now aware, legislation that is not progressive, that's number one. And then secondly, our cost of production is usually not sustainable, so to speak. And so the farmers really feel price shocks. Eh? When the price reduces a little bit, there is a lot of cry, eh? because our uh, cost of production is relatively high. Eh? Yeah. What saves us is that our quality is also relatively good, and the uh, buyers stick along. Eh? <laughs> and are still interested in the coffee. Otherwise, if they were to get alternative coffee, uh, it would be really tough hmm. for us. Do you try to encourage students, young people to take up farming? Are there any incentives that either you or the government has been thinking about? Uh, in some areas, the young people like there is a county you work with, uh, Kirinyaga, where young people really take farming seriously. Eh? In other counties, not as much, eh? especially the counties that are near big cities, there it's very, very difficult. Like Peririka is very near Nairobi. Eh? And so there you do not see a lot of young people enthusiastic about doing coffee. Eh? In uh, Counties that are more in the rural areas, deep, there the attitude is slightly different. Eh? 